Hello, fifth grade. We are going to be finishing up with your emoji paintings this week. Um, so hopefully you have done lots of color mixing in order to fill your entire space. We really shouldn't have any white spaces unless you've actually painted it white. And you should be doing, again, a lot of color mixing. I mixed everything on here, of course, except for the black um, and the white highlights on the eyes. So one of the last steps that you need to take with painting is to um, add a black outline around at least some of the items. Personally, I think it looks nice to outline the emoji because that's the most important part of the artwork. And then maybe just to do a black outline around the different um, sections that you have. Just because again, Romero Brito um, did have a black outline and it helped create that really bold pop art style that he is known for. So I have just a little cup of black paint. You don't need much. Um, and then one of the skinny brushes. Um, we are painting it on, not drying. So you'll want to go uh, slowly and carefully. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the black outline. It's important to make sure that your paint is uh, dry before you do this, just so you don't have any accidental smudges. All right, everyone, so when you're done outlining, again, I would recommend the emoji and just the different sections, you're all done with painting. And that means that you are ready to work on the checklist. So if you take a look, you have three checklist items. The first one, uh, make sure that you have created a composition based off of Romero Brito and your favorite emoji. And hopefully we have all done that. Second, have used plenty of patterns in your composition. You really should have a pattern in each of your different sections, or at least most of them. And have mixed colors and painted as neatly as possible. And again, this one is really important. You wanna make sure that you have at least most of your colors mixed. All right. And then, then it's time to answer the questions. So the first one, why did you pick this emoji? And that can be a really simple answer. I use this one a lot. I really like this one. I think it's cute. I think it's funny. Um, and then the second one, what did you learn about color mixing with this project? So this is one of our first projects where we really take a deep dive into color mixing. So tell me, uh, what did you really learn about mixing colors with painting? Um, so once you have this all set and done. You'll uh, turn this in along with your project and I'm really excited to see the work that you have completed.